On Monday, Justin Trudeau's liberals won the election. On Tuesday, Vladimir Putin of Russia sent him a welcome message. Russia has announced it has established a massive Arctic military base. It's on Alexandra Island, which is part of the Franz Josef uh, Archipelago. It's at 80 degrees north latitude. It's so far north, it's practically at the North Pole, which is the point. Putin says the North Pole is his, not Canada's. But Putin isn't just a man of words, he is a man of action. And his action was to announce the military base that is large enough to sustain 150 troops for 18 months without replenishment. It's 150,000 square feet big. Now, you can't invade Canada with 150 troops, but you can stake a claim to the Arctic. As they say, possession is nine-tenths of the law. You put up a Russian flag and have 150 troops there full-time and an airplane landing strip, who's going to take it down? If the West wouldn't kick Russian troops out of Ukraine, a sovereign populated country, an ally, do you really think we'd go up to the Arctic and drive out Russian troops to capture the flag? Now, Alexanderland is not disputed territory. It's actually part of Russia proper. But the North Pole is disputed, and much of the Arctic Ocean is. And this matters because it has enormous mineral wealth underneath. And Russia's tapping it already. It's drilling. Take a look at this huge Arctic oil rig, the Priraslomnaya, if I'm saying that right. It's the world's first Arctic ice-proof drilling rig. It's being used in Russian waters now. But if one of those were towed up further north by Russian icebreakers and started drilling for oil in waters claimed by Canada, what are we going to do to stop them? Well, in the final days of the election campaign, Justin Trudeau laughably said he'd stare down Vladimir Putin. Yeah, right. Can you imagine those stares? I think Blue Thunder would be the one he'd go with. Uh, Blue Steel, I guess Zoolander called it. Look, I I'm not sure if the same moves that Justin Trudeau put on the Cougars in the press gallery are going to work on the Russian bear. But hey, what did he say again? There's a lot of people, uh, refugees, displaced peoples, fleeing violence who are facing a very, very cold winter in the mountains. If something Canada has expertise on is how to face a winter in the mountains with the right kind of equipment. Yeah, that'll stop Putin. Good boy, Justin. For the Rebel.media, I'm Ezra Levant.